Hey, what's going on guys? It's CTA Prime back here again with another LaunchBox tutorial. Today we're going to be covering emulating Atari Lynx. Now you either hate the Lynx or you love the Lynx. In my opinion, I think it was a great little handheld console made by Atari. There are some really good games and then there's some games that you'll never play at all. Just like any system. But we're going to be using RetroArch to emulate it. It's super easy to set up. Now, if you don't have RetroArch set up yet with LaunchBox, I did a tutorial video a few weeks ago. I'll leave a link in the description. Obviously, the first thing you're going to need are some Lynx games. Now, I have mine on my desktop in a folder called Atari Lynx. All of these are zipped up. You can leave them zipped or you can extract them. As you can see, I have double drag and extracted. I just wanted to show you that this will work either zipped or extract it. Next thing we're going to need to do is open up RetroArch. Now I have my RetroArch in my LaunchBox directory under Emulators, RetroArch, and we're going to launch it right here with the EXE. From here, we're going to scroll down to Online Updater, Core Updater, and there are two emulators in here. Now, I prefer using Atari Lynx Handy. There's also Beetle Handy, but I have noticed that on some NVIDIA GPUs, it crashes a lot. So we're going to be going over Atari Lynx Handy. We're just going to download it. It's going to self-extract. Now we can exit RetroArch. Let's open LaunchBox back up. So Atari Lynx is really easy to set up in LaunchBox using RetroArch. We're just going to go to Tools. I'm going to go to Manage Emulators. I have RetroArch here. If we go to Associated Platforms, we already have the Atari Lynx Handy Core ready to go. So we don't need to do any editing here. All we need to do is import our games. We'll go to Tools, Import, ROM Files. This is the Import Wizard. Go ahead and read everything on screen. We're going to click Next. Select the files to import. I'm going to add that whole folder that I had on my desktop. OK. LaunchBox is automatically going to sort through all the games in here. I'm going to click Next. Platform for imported games. We're going to go to the drop down menu here and choose Atari Lynx. Next. Choose an emulator. RetroArch should already be chosen. If it's not, go ahead and drop down and choose RetroArch. Next. Now, since my games are on my desktop, I'm going to copy the files into my LaunchBox games folder. So I'm going to click this here. Would you like to download metadata for your games? Yes, we would. I just leave the first one checked. Search for game information from the LaunchBox games database. Would you like to download images? Yes, I leave everything checked here. If this is your first time importing anything in the LaunchBox, you might be prompted to sign into EMU Movies. Now, EMU Movies is free to use. But there's also a donation option, which allows you to download video snaps for your games, different box art, game manuals, and things like that. I'm going to click Next. Would you like to specify any custom options? Not for Atari Lynx, so we'll just click Next. Here's all the games that LaunchBox found in that folder. It's going to import them into my LaunchBox directory. Click Finish. You'll get a progress bar here at the bottom. Just be patient, let it finish up. This is going to import all the games into my LaunchBox directory, download all the metadata, all my box art, and everything associated with EMU movies. My 76 games were imported successfully. I'll click OK. Over in the left-hand column here, we should have an Atari Lynx option. And here's all my games. I'm just going to scroll through them here. Looks like LaunchBox did a great job downloading all the box art for all these 76 games here. Now I want to go over one setting that might confuse a lot of people. The Atari Lynx was a handheld console, but some games were meant to hold the whole console sideways. I'm going to show you how to rotate the screen in RetroArch. And one of the games I like to demo here is Gauntlet. The third encounter. Double click. It's going to start the game. As you can see, it's sideways. We now need to rotate the screen so we can play it properly.
So in order to do this properly, we need to exit into RetroArch. In my previous tutorial video on RetroArch, I showed you how to set up a menu hotkey. Mine is L3 and R3. I'm gonna press those. I'm gonna scroll over to History, Gauntlet, the third encounter. We're gonna press A. Scroll down till we see Options, Display Rotation. Now I'm gonna go to 240. I'm gonna back up. I'll scroll down and I'm gonna save game overrides. So it will only rotate the screen with this one game. I'm gonna press A. In order for this to work correctly, we do have to stop this game. We're just gonna close content and we're gonna restart the game. If everything worked correctly, Gauntlet should be rotated. There we have it. So I'll go ahead and start this game real quick. I'm gonna choose Android, and if you look at this Android, he does look a little familiar. So I really do like this Gauntlet version here. The third encounter for the Atari Lynx, this is a really good Gauntlet game. I'm gonna go ahead and exit. I do have my hotkey automation set up inside a launch box, so I'll press my start and select buttons. That's what I set mine up as. It'll exit us right back into launch box. So that's pretty much it for this video. It's really easy to set up Atari Lynx inside a launch box and big box. There are some really great games. I just showed you one of my favorites, Gauntlet. But another one down here, the Rygar port was actually really good for the Lynx, in my opinion. Another great game, or port, would be Rampage. Only a few of these games will need to be rotated, and you can save the specific game settings, so you won't have to rotate it again as long as you've set it up one time and saved the config. If we ever start Gauntlet back up, it will be in the correct orientation. We really appreciate you guys watching. If you could, hit that like button and subscribe to the LaunchBox channel for more great content. And like always, thanks for watching.